Welcome back to PMR. Today we have the iPhone 12 Pro Max. It comes in four colors. You got the Pacific Blue, Silver, Graphite, and Gold. So we finally decided to upgrade from the 7 to the 12. So excited. So let's open it. To know the color of your phone, you have the image here. As you can see, that one's gold. This one's graphite. Also, with the Apple logo, it's a bit more clear. And to really double check, in the back, it's labeled gold. And the other one's graphite. Oh man, to many people it doesn't really matter, but for us we usually like keeping the box, just for memories. Alright, we have lift off. It looks absolutely beautiful, just that finish looks really nice. Alright, let's go ahead and take it out. What do you guys think? Stainless steel on the side. I mean, we really like it. I know it's a finger magnet. We could always just clean it off. Definitely a good amount of weight on it. That's the other side. Got the antenna bands. The 5G. Let's go ahead and flip it the other way around. Let's go ahead and take out the white paper. Verify that there's no scratches on the screen. It's supposed to be perfect. The real estate on this screen is massive compared to our iPhone 7. Gonna have some issues reaching the other side of the screen. We do like the frosted finish here compared to the 12. Now we have three cameras. Can't wait to take some photos, some videos on this bad boy. The gold's turn. Real quick, we'd really appreciate it if you subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. Thank you for watching. You guys are awesome. Let's take it out of the box. Gorgeous, this is just posh. That glossy gold is just giving that fashion statement. This one's definitely attention grabbing. The other one's more of a stealth, low key look. Lift up. Wow, look at that. Very posh. Just reminds me of having all that gold chain, gold bracelets. Just very premium, very posh. Classy, just really nice, guys. Well, if your hands is fairly clean, you're not going to get as much smudges or fingerprints on it. Look at all those eyeballs on those camera. With the flat edge here, we find it more sophisticated compared to the one that's rounded. I remember when the iPhone 5 came out, it looks really good. We were close of getting the iPhone 11, but we didn't have the 5G. Also, there's going to be a refresh look on the 12, so that's why we went for this one. Here we have the iPhone SE, just kind of like the iPhone 5, just, just we like that design. Apple has come a long way. Look at that. Let's go ahead and take the white paper. Let's double check the screen. No scratches. Looks good. Which one do you guys prefer? The low key one or look at me? Gorgeous. We got the dual stereo speakers and the lightning port. 5G antenna. Power switch. SIM card tray volume buttons, and the silent switch. You got three megapixel camera, ultra wide, wide, and telephoto. You have the flash, microphone, and the LiDAR scanner. Front facing camera is also 12 megapixel wide and 4K capable on both sides. It's a bigger phone, so it has a bigger battery size, 3600 milliamp, six gig of RAM, and you got three storage. You got the 128, 256, and 512. Stainless steel trim, Bluetooth 5.0, no 120 hertz fast refresh rate, ceramic shield front glass, and this is a Super Retina OLED 6.7 inch screen, very durable. We saw a couple of videos on YouTube where they did a drop test all the way to head height and it even damaged the screen. Now we'll probably do a separate video just for a video test and picture test. This has a good amount of weight on it, just, it, it makes it beefy I guess. Got about an average hand size here, now you're gonna have a little bit of struggle going from one edge of the screen or the other. I mean, it's still, still grippable. Just quick size of the box is seven inches by 3.7. 
1.1 inches thick, one's 3.1 inches wide, 6.3 inches tall, 0.3 inches thick, not including the camera. Quick comparison of the box, just look how thick this old one is. This is an iPhone 7 to an iPhone 12 Pro Max. Here's the top, it's about, I'd say 60% less, not quite half. What do you guys think? Now inside the box, what else is included? You have the, you got the tool for the SIM card. Then the sticker, the Apple logo sticker, which we never use. Then you got your lightning cable here, USB on the other side. Take it out. Now remember folks, it does not come with a power brick. The old one will not work. You got the USB-A here, and then you got the Type-C. And what we recommend is getting this Anchor power brick. What Rilo sold us on this Anchor is just look at the size, and it's almost the same size as the 5 watt. So I prefer just getting the Anchor one compared to the $20 the one that Apple has. And it's almost the same size as the 5 watt. This is a fast charger. And with the cable combined, you get a charge rate of 50% just in 30 minutes. Now the nice feature on this wall is just a little extra is he can stand it up. Let's see. One. And you have two. Whoa. Let's not scratch it now. Let's see if you can do it vertical. Will it stand vertical? Yes, it can. Oh. Look at that. Of course, the other side. And of course, you have the baby here. We mentioned this earlier, we really like the flat edge design. We find it just more sophisticated. It's the SE. I remember having the iPhone 5. Pretty similar. Just look how far it gotten. Really nice. And we understand that 12 mini has that size factor. It's really nice, but we really wanted the nice camera and all the pro features in here. Top to bottom, easily reach. Left to right. And we're definitely going to use it to the max. I mean, I'm not saying the 12 mini is bad. It's just that we rely a lot on our camera nowadays. We just wanted the best, the maxed out features. Turning it on, let's press the power button. Ooh, swipe up. Ooh, look at that, 5G. Wow, that screen size is huge. So we can check out YouTube. All right, let's go try out the sound here. Let's click on this video. Let's go ahead and turn it up all the way. Now we have the camera here and I'll probably do a separate video just for videos and pictures. Let's just do a quick one here. You got time lapse, got the slow-mo, video, photo, portrait, and of course you got the panorama. On top here you got the HD 30 frame per second. Switch it to 4K 30 frame per second, 4K 60 frame per second, HD 60 frame per second. That's nice. Quick, quick just toggle. Another accessory we bought separately is the MagSafe charger. This goes a little bit on the expensive side. This is for wireless charging. And you're gonna need the power adapter that's gonna accept the USB-C. That's why we recommended this anchor. Personally, this is something I won't really use because technically it's not wireless charging. You're still gonna be making contact on your phone. And the fastest way to charge is still putting in the lightning cable with the USB-C. It does have a neat feature. It has a magnet that would align on your phone perfectly. Inside the phone here, it has a round magnet so you can easily charge it and align as well. Go ahead and open this. It also comes in three manuals. So we have a soft rubber padding here preventing it from scratching. But the problem is the outer diameter. It's made out of metal and aluminum. So once you charge it here, be careful. You might scratch it on the side. Drop it in and it'll automatically align itself. Definitely a good amount of hold to this. It's not something that would just come off trying to shake it. Yeah, definitely a good amount. But like I said, be careful on the corners. Chance that you might scratch your phone. Let's plug it in our power brick. Charge it. Just place it down. 
there you go and you can kind of twist it if you're maybe using the phone this way twist it the other way well hidden very minimal let's look at it from the side you can barely notice it taking it off is just a little difficult it has a good grab on it so usually I'll probably just pull it here just to take it off but the issue with that is you keep pulling it there eventually this would give out if you use this on the daily chances are this is going to start splitting we all know how brittle this is it is nice to have that mag to make your wireless charging a lot simpler but for $39 you have a cable that's only 3 feet not very long chance of this splicing very high with daily use power brake not included you have to buy it separately and still the best way to fast charge your phone is through a cable we would hold off on buying a MagSafe charger we'll wait for a third party maybe somewhere down the line they'll have one with the braided lines longer cables maybe a power brick included or maybe even a cheaper price the reason why we bought this we're going to try some cases and we want to see if it's MagSafe compatible now as far as deciding should I get the Pro or the Pro Max from what we see in other YouTube videos the only difference is you get better bass so better sound bigger battery so it lasts longer and the obvious, the screen size. But as far as camera goes, people did some comparison. The only way for you to tell a difference is if you put the picture right next to each other. And if you have to go and do that, that's not making much of a big difference. So the reason to get the Pro Max if you want the bigger screen, bigger battery, and better sound. You have three prices on this. You got the 128 gig for 1099. You got the 1199 for the 256 gig, and then the 512 gig is for 1399 just quick recap you got the original box here you got the tool for your sim card you got the logo sticker you got this lightning cable the usb and of course you got your phone it comes in four colors you got the silver pacific blue graphite and gold get yours at amazon apple store or your local carrier this is the iphone 12 pro max let us know if you have any questions subscribe and stay positive